at this point in the series, we're going to be using our Unix commands with fMRI data. Click on the link in the More Info box below for instructions about how to download the data, how to install FSL, and what skull stripping is. When you've finished, come back to this tutorial. The previous video on for loops showed us how to run many blocks of code with slight alterations between each execution. But what if we only want to run code if certain conditions are met? We can automate these decisions with conditional statements. If a certain condition is true, then do something. Else, if the condition is not true, then do something else. For example, we might want to check the anatomical directory for whether the anatomical image has been skull stripped. If it hasn't been skull stripped, then do the skull stripping. If it has been stripped, then do nothing. Try this on your own computer. First, navigate to the flanker directory, which in my case is on my desktop. Then navigate into the sub-01 anatomical directory. From the command line, type the following conditional statement. As with the for loop, a conditional statement has three distinct sections. The first section begins with the word if, and then evaluates or checks whether the statement within the brackets is true or false. Within the brackets, the dash E means check whether this file exists. If the file does exist, then the statement goes on to run the code in the body of the statement. You can have as many lines of code in the body as you want. The last line, fi or if spelled backwards, ends the conditional statement. Note that if you typed out the conditional statement above, nothing happened. That's because in this case, the statement was evaluated as false. The file doesn't exist, so the code wasn't run. If we want to do something in case the conditional statement is false, we need to add another section, an else section, which looks like this. This means that if this conditional statement is true, then run this block of code. If it isn't true, then run this block of code. Since the statement is false, the code in the else section is run. You can also check if a file doesn't exist by placing an exclamation mark before the dash E option. At this point, I want to talk about common conditional statement errors. Usually this is because the syntax is off and you should check it to see if the condition is formatted correctly. A typical error is not putting a space between the brackets, the exclamation mark, and the separate elements within the brackets. If you don't follow the syntax rules exactly, the conditional statement will throw an error. Let's finish with a demonstration of how to combine a for loop with a conditional statement. Let's say that we want to check whether subjects 1, 2, and 3 have a skull stripped anatomical image. If it doesn't exist, strip the skull using bet2. Navigate to the directory containing all of your subjects and then run the following code, which you can also find in the More Info box down below. This will navigate into each subject's anatomical directory and check whether the skull strip image exists. If it doesn't, then it runs bet2 in order to skull strip the anatomical. The echo commands are optional. I like to include them so that the user knows which command is currently being run. We covered a lot of concepts in this tutorial, but time and practice will make you more familiar with how to integrate for loops and conditional statements into your code. Remember to check the links in the More Info box down below for more examples and exercises with conditional statements. The next tutorial will show you how to write all of these commands into a script, which makes your code more portable and easier to edit. See you then.